happy 2021. Thank you very much if you got Fixie from the part 4 of the stylized Guilty Gear shaders for Blender. This asset, this rig, is based on Rigify, which is a basic and uh, native add-on right here in Blender. So just in case you open this file and you don't have Rigify active, you can come here to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, type the word Rig, and then you will activate it right here, Rigify. So when you open Fixie version 1.3, you're going to find this full render right here. You can click here to open this panel, or you can just right click on it and then show header, uncheck to hide it. So that's how you, you get it. And this is the solid view, or shaded view rather, and then this is the full render view. So let's talk about the properties because I want to quickly address some of the things that you might probably not know about the Rigify rig. So first of all, whenever you select a rig, you can see it right here in the outliner. It's been color coded yellow so you can see the rig when you import it and uh, you have different objects here all adequately organized for you so that you don't miss anything so when you select your rig let me join this over here when you select your rig you need to press tab and go into post mode post mode is the mode that will allow you to pose um, fix it in this case right now um, one of the advantages to have the post library is that you can quickly change her posing. So to do that you need to go to edit preferences and then have this add-on installed which is called post library thumbnails. Okay, And once you have it active you're going to find the description down here in the video description please follow it install the add-on so that when you come here into this running man icon you're going to see here that you have the post library available and that you can also create thumbnails for your poses so in my case I'm going to alt a to unselect everything and since I am in post mode as you can see right here then I can click right here and change any of the poses that I'm, I might be interested. Let's set the body back to neutral, which basically resets every uh, every bone, everything from Fixie. Okay, and I already show how you can um, save poses, but let's just pretend for one moment that I'm going to be saving this as a new pose. Okay, just like so, or rather, all the way over here. I'm going to save this pose so with this selected because this is the only element that I did manipulate I can come here to where it says PLB rig fix body fixy body pulses and then click this plus button right here and this will allow me to create a new pose so when I select that I'm going to pull uh, I'm going to write um, salute okay and then I'm going to alt a unselect everything I'm going to reset her body back to neutral then I'm going to go here into salute I'm going to click this magnifying glass and then she's back there so if I want to save a pose for that while I have this selected I may click here on add I'll go target 1 PNG 256 by 256 pixels and then it's going to be automatically saved in here you also need to activate this little shield button so that all of your poses will continue to be added in here and they will be saved with your file it's a good idea that you have different uh, version files so that you don't lose any changes that you have so let's say I have this anime kick and you can see her right there and the iconic pose again so that's the first thing the post library the second thing I want to address is um, the color picker that I created with everything connected so that you can drive fixes parameters so I'm going to jump back into object mode and in object mode you're going to select this color picker that you see right here you have different properties okay they are all right here 
and you can change uh, most of the parameters for Fixie. Let me switch off the overlays. Let me come over here. As you, as you may already seen on the other videos, you can switch the uniform color. Let's see. I'm going to go for a kind of uh, dark green or desaturated green. The uniform shadow also can be switched. So let's use something also desaturated and the uniform light as you can see right here of course will uh, change the lighting of the scene and just like that you've changed your character your character's color and you can see that she's ready to go into a jungle environment probably and that's so cool um, so yeah that's that um, the eyes let's talk about the eyes so the eye symbol it's uh, it's a property that will allow the eye to be switched to a custom shape that I created which has a shader that you can manipulate so if you select your your body the body if you select the body you're going to have in the vertex properties the shape keys right here so you can read them all and the one that we're interested in is this eye symbol eye symbols okay so when I go from 0 to 1 I'm going to get this eye symbol uh, pop out of her eyes but the way to change the actual symbol comes here in the shader with where it says eye symbols I pinned it with this pin right here but if you come here into the material list it's uh, named as such eye symbols so you can see it right there and the property driving that parameter is right here eye symbols and you can see it right here in red that if I go zero I'm going to get a star on the X location map X location to zero it's going to give me a star zero it gives me a star 0 0.25 is going to give me love 0 0.25 love um, 0 0.5 it's going to give me the red cross the health red cross okay and 075 is going to give me the cyber knife and once you're fiddling with those numbers there you can then come here into the color picker and now that the shape has been put in the value of one you can then go into the eye symbol glow and make the eyes glow with this number otherwise you will not get the eyes symbol to glow if instead you want the eye glow then select your body again vertex properties reduce to zero the eye symbols because that's not what you want you want to make the eyes glow choose the color picker and from there you can make the regular eyes glow as you wish you can also change the eye color here it is eye color let's see if I want this like to be this red color okay because for some reason let's say that she has kind of an orange red color so you can make it glow and another factor that the model has is that you can use a flat skin versus a shaded skin and this is what this parameter here does so if you go down you're going to start to notice that the skin is uh, getting a little bit of tint almost like looking a flat shading but with a diffusive uh, property to it okay so that's what this does so flat skin one as you can see it's just one flat color I usually tend to go to 024 well this is I guess just too much but if you want to change the skin color as well uh, let's let's see 075 you can come here where it says skin color and now she's going to be kind of a tanned uh, military for the jungle uh, she's very equipped and you can also change her hair color now her hair color has different parameters because she uses a gradient that you can manipulate as well so let's say for example that she's going to have the base uh, hair which will be something like this and then I can just drag and drop this to make it just slight uh, 
lighter and then the hair highlight color will be obviously where the light hits finally the hair light color is all the area that gets lit by the by any kind of light so as you can see you can change this pretty quickly it's very um, responsive as well this is a very very concise rig taught to um, help you get um, your training for all of the past four series that we've been reviewing about the Guilty Gear stylized shader so this is what you you can do with her and of course there is a property which I probably did not show anywhere before which is that when you're in object mode okay when you're in object mode you're not going to see this this property but if you go into pose mode and then you select this this root controller you're going to get additional properties right here where you can enable or disable for example different articles in the skin like let's say the armbands if you go to zero because if you hover it says zero off one on so right now the armbands are on let's switch them off you can switch that off the belt also can be visible or invisible the cap if you know you don't want to deal with that you just switch it off whoops I guess this parameter is not connected yet and the elbow pad as well you can switch it on or off you you can turn off the gloves and you can still get your your model working so um, for example if you find something that is not working like in this case the cap visible should be working this is probably working in another cap that I, I had before but this is a new one that I did and then it probably got disconnected because of that anyways if you find something that is not working here in the rig uh, you're going to get free support for a whole year which means that I will be continuing creating and developing things for Fixie for a whole year and you will get those updates for free so just make sure that you report them to me and you have uh, this channel here in the comment section below and uh, you also have the Gmail to where you can contact me when you get this uh, training course and you have different uh, social media where you can just uh, tag me and then I can uh, read your message so yeah that's it I mean there is a lot of room for improvement on this character uh, that is uh, to say that it's been a huge effort to bring her to completion and I'm pretty sure that there are most things that um, will continue to improve over time and that we can do for the next thing that I'm planning for this 2021 which is to bring her whole crew into 3d models okay so if you want to know more about her backstory Fixie's backstory please make sure to follow me on patreon if you follow me that doesn't mean that you are actually a patreon you just follow me <laughs> or you can also type your questions here in the community tab here in the YouTube channel so that's it if you got any other questions please make sure to ask them in the comment section below and I hope you enjoy animating Fixie thank you very much